it's been exactly two weeks since they disappeared and very few new leads. We're also hearing this morning from the wife of the suspected kidnapper. In an exclusive statement to NBC News, Jill Cummins tells us nobody understands the pain and the shock I am in now. She also had a message directly for her husband. She writes, you know you can't hide forever for your sake and for Beth's sake. Please go to the police or please just drop Beth off somewhere safe. I know you are afraid and I know there's a part of you that's really sorry. It's not too late. Now, also this morning, we're hearing for the very first time Elizabeth Thomas's voice in an undated Facebook video. She's seen with her brother. They're sewing a flag. Let's go ahead and listen to how she sounds. You can film the video right here and then you, you know, um, do you want to start from back or do you want to start from the front? Too many. Not I don't see what you're Investigators are also telling NBC News exclusively more about how the two of them were communicating. Apparently, they used a school email account. They would write an email, save it as a draft, and then once the other person read it, they would delete it. Obviously, they were thinking that nobody was able to trace these, but investigators have gotten a hold of them. Matt? All right, Tammy Leitner. Tammy, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.